This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. We recently received an email from a supporter of the Society of St. Pius X. He had been looking over the material on our website. I wanted to read his email and then our response to it. The subject line of his email says, The Letter of the Law. Quote, Dear Brothers, I've been perusing your website for several months. I've been trying to get a fix on your beliefs. I find your analyses startlingly precise, perhaps I should say accurate, although I doubt it. But something keeps eating at me. It has taken me until now to discover the chink in your armor. Search out what St. Paul says about charity. I'm sure you will find it. You're so certain of yourselves, you have overlooked both charity and mercy. Sorry, but I'll stick with the SSPX. God love you, Ken Harris. This is our response to his email. Your email is revealing. First, you say that we are, quote, so certain that we have overlooked charity. You thus contend that certainty is incompatible with charity. The truth is actually the opposite. Certainty is the foundation of charity because faith requires certainty, and faith is the foundation of charity. See Hebrews 11.6, Pope Pius XI, Mortali Manimos. St. Thomas Aquinas says, quote, in accepting or rejecting opinions, a man must not be influenced by love or hatred of him who proffers the opinions, but only by the certainty of the truth. End quote. Therefore, Ken, it's precisely because you lack a certainty of faith and the conclusions that flow therefrom that you are bereft of a true vision of charity. It's also why you put your trust in man rather than in God. For that reason, he allows you to wander down the wrong path. More on that in a bit. A person with genuine faith and charity is rooted in God alone. That person will detest what is opposed to God. It follows that one of the qualities of the love of God, which results in love of one's fellow man, is a severe hatred of evil. A person who does not truly hate evil does not love God and cannot love his fellow man. Psalm 96.10, quote, You that love the Lord, hate evil. Proverbs 8.13, quote, To fear the Lord is to hate evil. Your email makes it clear that you lack the necessary hatred of evil simply because you lack the faith to perceive who or what is evil. The greatest evil, and if this is true generally, it is especially true in our time, is heresy and those who promote heresy. Pope St. Pius X, Edete Sepe, 1910, quote, It is a certain, well-established fact that no other crime so seriously offends God and provokes his greatest wrath as the vice of heresy, end quote. Your misapplication of mercy, extending it where it should not be extended, flows from your lack of faith and your lack of conviction about what is evil. The Bible's most common theme is that God's mercy is only upon those who fear him, Psalm 102.17, Luke 1.50, etc., and that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, Psalm 110, verse 10. In requiring that mercy be extended to heretics and others who pervert the truth, you apply it where God has not applied it and contradict his word. The clearest indication that you are deceived is your complete disregard of the doctrinal evidence provided in our material against the Society of St. Pius X. You ignore the fact that the Society of St. Pius X is heretical and schismatic. You don't care that they believe souls can be saved in false religions, including Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, etc. You don't care that they recognize heretics as Catholics, including heretics who say that we should not even convert non-Catholics. And you certainly don't care that they believe a council, which they consider to be ecumenical, can officially teach error on faith and morals. These positions, which contradict binding Catholic teaching, do not concern you, because frankly you are not a believer in God. You are a follower of man. Since you reject faith and you are looking for a person or a group of persons to follow, God justly allows you to be deceived and to fall into the hands of heretics such as the Society of St. Pius X, and you will follow them down the path to perdition. 
You say that we should consider what St. Paul said about charity. You have no concept of his message. In fact, in saying that you were looking for a, quote, chink in our armor, you contradict what St. Paul inculcated about how charity, quote, believeth all things. 1 Corinthians 13.7 In other words, charity does not look for evil where it does not exist. You were looking for a chink in our armor, even though you found the information accurate. St. Paul's message about charity refers to a mentality that should exist among true Catholics within the body of Christ. It concerns dealings and relationships among those who already share the bond of faith. It must not be misunderstood to justify the doctrinal perversions of people who teach heresy in a period of unprecedented apostasy, such as the Society of St. Pius X, and by doing so demonstrate that they do not adhere to the rule of Catholic faith. Speaking of the Society of St. Pius X, not only are their positions on core issues heretical and hopelessly inconsistent, but they grow more untenable by the day. Additionally, while you talk about openness and charity and mercy, consider that the Society of St. Pius X, even though they recognize the apostate Novus Ordo bishops as legitimate, will not even allow their followers to attend the approved Latin masses which are offered under their, quote, bishop. No, in following the Society of St. Pius X, you are not following God, you are not choosing faith, mercy, or charity. You are being deceived by a false sense of community. God has delivered you up to this delusion, since you have rejected faith in Him, which begets a recognition and hatred of evil. For the article exposing the Society of St. Pius X's heretical positions, see the link in the description of this video, or the section on VaticanCatholic.com that deals with the Society of St. Pius X.